cost to borrow is extremely high. The short interest is underreported. The reverse split will pressure shorts more, making it harder to locate. AMC is growing business-wise, raising hundreds of millions, deferring debt, and box office estimates are stronger than ever last year. Oh yeah, and these are just some of the good things going on with AMC right now. Comment down below if you agree with me, if you feel like I feel, that AMC might just be in the best position it's ever been in. Feeling confident, just loving the idea that we put out a product in AMC. Actual goods, people want, and added extras. Real jobs, family experiences, watching crypto crashes that are geared towards. The theft of hardworking people is hard to watch. I'm not dancing, I'm feeling for the families that work so hard and were lied to. It's a really good point. Everything that's kind of playing out right now is very sad to watch. And I've said that in multiple videos. When we're talking about these hedge funds closing and all these funds losing all this money. It's not like the apes wanted this, but it is the fact that the apes did predict this. I do, however, know that no matter what we have to handle products that people want and buy, we're not propped up by fake BS and lies. I feel like that is rare in this position. Being so confident that we own an undervalued stock during these times, no matter what you think the floor price should be, Mine it will be high, but to own a truly undervalued asset in this time is rare. Everything else is still sitting up pretty overvalued, and things that don't even produce anything. If you own shares of AMC, you own a part of a company that is producing millions upon millions of dollars every single day, and that's something to be proud of. This ape says do not sell AMC and do not sell ape. Do not sell either. Hold both, never sell either. Vote yes to all. Why? Because F all the mainstream media, they are trying to distort the narrative and all of the apes know it. When is justice going to be served? This is hilarious. Citadel Securities tweeted this out on September 28th, 2021. I remember it like it was yesterday. They said it must frustrate the conspiracy theorists to no end that Vlad and I have never texted, called, or met each other. But I must say, kudos to Vlad and his team at Robin for their remarkable success story, which, yeah, that's really doing well at this point. Citadel Securities founder Ken Griffin said that. Meanwhile, this was also true. Robin and Citadel Securities engaged in a blunt negotiation the night before the train restrictions to lower PFOF rates. Robinhood was charging Citadel Securities. Isn't that something?